We are live here at Manchester Stadium from all the way over in the UK. Here for what is expected to be a big trial match. A lots of stardom is set to be shown here for the people of the UK. A big crowd turning out for this SRL match. And uh, we have such a big UK audience. We're so happy we can finally get back to them with this trial match. Joining me in the commentary box once more is Liam Ryan. Liam, you excited for this trial match? I'm very excited for this trial match. It's going to be awesome to see these new teams come out and do the job for their sides. Yeah, I have to agree. I'm very much looking forward to it. Look how he looks to get things underway. Obviously, the Premiers haven't lost a game since Season 2. They were led out by their, new, their, their captain who led them out in Season 2. They haven't lost since they've been without him. KCK led them out. With just the players, they have a sole captain off the Broncos. Leaning out their side. And the kickoff now goes deep. Down to Sam Herbert, who gives it their fourth foot. Might have been there off the kickoff. They're going to say play with Jason Farrell. Taking in a hit up there. Returning with a new look as a prop forward. Let's go over to look at Moscow. They do recruit. Already away. That would have been a massive play. Could have get away there. Early on. They definitely play with some firepower early on. The Broncos. Third tackle on the 50. Mark Iron. Long pass over to Quandle Dingle. Fourth tackle now. Smoke in this area is absolutely terrific, isn't it? Yeah. So much smoke. Got the sunlight on too. What a game this is looking to be. This goes over to Mark Iron. He punts it across field. And it looks to be too deep. No, it's going to sit up for the... Maverick Oldfield's forced to play at it. Good first set there by the Broncos. Yeah, it was a great set by the Broncos. Now they need a muscle up defensively. As Bradman Good with a hard run gets passed up towards the 30. These manly forwards are pack is one of the quickest in the comp. As a massive shot put straight there on. Who was that? Kane Chapman. Kane. Kane. It was on Kane. Yeah. And now the Broncos going to have an opportunity here. Urban. Over to Kelly. Gets past one. Take it down by KCK. First tackle now. Short there to Levi Raymond. Second tackle. It's a good opportunity early on here by the Broncos. This goes over to Mark Iron, the new recruit. Third tackle now. Goes short there to Jason Farrow pushing forward and he's on his back. Back there, that's fourth tackle now. Mark Iron gives a short there to Sam Herbert. A good run there. But they're muscling up defensively here with Manly Seagulls. The defending Premier League. They're, not, they're definitely not new to defending for a long time. With Levi Raymond looks to push forward and he'll be held up. Good defence there by Manly, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good defence. Broncos didn't really throw a lot at them, though. Maybe so they not throw a lot at them, but they just seem to... Handle everything with ease, Manly. That was too easy as Matt Harris just forward. Lock of the reigning lock of the year. What a player he was last as he goes over to K. That's the third tackle. Goes inside there to K. Kane Chapman K. That's the fourth. Playing fullback today. Chaz Diggles found himself in the 5 8 role. Be interested to see if they keep that for, for the whole season. It's Jesse Bear that pushes forward up towards the 30 meter line. That's the fifth tackle. Good kick there by OK. Down to Luka Moscow. You know how dangerous these back five can be. Just keep having the glaring light on these cameras. Interesting thing there. As he goes to short ball there, that's Jason Farrell. Second tackle. Over to Levi Raymond, straight for a hole there. Doesn't have any support runners. And we'll take it there, third tackle. Fourth tackle. Gives it there to Cota Dio. That's the fifth tackle. 
Eight minutes gone. Mark Iron punts it over. Taken in by Malachi Booth as he gets past one. Malachi Booth is a bit of a step. Neil all so far. Eight minutes gone. What are your thoughts on these opening exchanges, Liam? I think it's been a really good opening exchanges. Uh, both sides on the grind. It's been some pretty good defense so far. Desperate here to hold on. I have to agree with you there. It's Malachi Booth now. They get it over to Wu K. Then to KCK. Fourth tackle now. Broncos are definitely up to the challenge so far. This might not be able to convert their early positions. They get an offload there to Chaz Dego. Thought they want to touch the Broncos' hand there. Or at least traveled forward. One or the other. The ref says no play on. No tackle restart. And no forward pass by Manley. As Matt Harris boots it forward. Taken there by Moscow. That's the first. Manly doing a really good job at wrapping them up as soon as they step through. Not letting them get away. After a really bad, they're struggling to make, sort of struggling to make line wrecks here, but I think that forward pack's definitely rolling so far for Broncos as they give it short there to Raymond. Third tackle. Goes over to just Splain. He played there, fourth tackle. Goes over there, good run by Sam Herbin. Gets past Casey K. How often do you see that happen? And Sam Herbin scores the opening draw. Casey K. When was the last time you see a player do that to Manly? Casey K. outran him. He went to the too far right, and Herbin just stepped back on the inside. I don't think I've ever what? seen a fullback do that to Manly like that. Full for fullback, as Sam Herbin do, um, did just then. Whether it's been Chaz Dingo. All Casey K back there. And. Not great by Manly, and Broncos are going to hit the early lead. As Justin Place kicks, kicks it there, makes it 6 0 after 11 minutes of action. Broncos can't turn off early, though. They've got to continue with this. Yeah, against Manly, they'll take any opportunity you give them, so they got to continue with this job. I have to agree there. You know, Manly haven't had an opportunity yet, but Sam Herbin, what a speed that he is for this Manly side. You know, a bit of talk in the offices whether he should switch to 5 8 to allow Mark Iron to go fullback, but he's doing just fine at fullback himself so far today. Obviously, just a trial match, but a good start there by the Broncos. As that's the second tackle now. Goes Mark Iron. Behind the back to Jason Farrell with another powerful run for Bear. Not the quickest forward, Jason Farrell. We picked up there by Manny. who played on the 50. Here by Raymond. Over to Pete Verreto. Gets it off the back on the inside to Bo Sadler. Versus his old club he played for Manny last season as it goes over to Dakota Deer. Looking for space. Fifth tackle now. They'll go back. Rosalie gives it to Jason Farrow. I don't think he was expecting it on the last. He's not going to kick it. And a poor fifth tackle option by the Broncos gives Manly an opportunity. That's Hayden Bellhart now of speed. This is the opportunity Manly need now, isn't it? Yeah. They have to find something. It's Jesse Bennett with a hard run. We know how good he is. The New South Wales. An Australian forward there. We'll get up towards the 20 meter line as they give away a penalty for Broncos. And Manly have surprisingly chosen to take in the take two here. What do you think of this decision, Liam? Um, not a bad one. I mean, well, it's their only their first time down here, so I don't know. It's. I'll probably probably would have went for the try, but it's not a bad call. I I can see the reason they've done the decision, take the points where we're off the wall. And Broncos are still relatively, you know, I don't know if they scored. They went down there because you know the Broncos, they, they haven't really had the final day, so they're really fresh. But they were just starting to get a roll on. Manly, if I was being able to go for the try. But yeah, six, I probably would have too. Six points to two early on here. It's going to be just the play to kick back off. Down to KCK. Gives it a Brad Goodwin. That's going to be the first. He's held there. Let him up. Right. He's tackle one. And he'll play it there. 
Goes Matt Harris now. Straight up the middle now. It's taken there. Second tackle. Jesse Bennett with a powerful run. They go over there to Ethan Gooden. When good run by him, Sam Herman wraps him up. It's fourth tackle. Just like that, they're inside mainly te Broncos territory. They want to put on some points here. Goes short ball there to Jesse Bennett. Fifth tackle. Goes Chaz Dingo now. Grubbers in it in case he can't make up for his earlier mistake and scoring Manly's first try of the game. What a kick by Chaz Dingo to try by Kane Chapman Kenny. Yeah, that was a brilliant kick there from Chaz Dingo. Set up his other set up his one and put him straight in. Brilliant kick from Dingo to KZK. Yeah, he just bounced up for Kane Chapman Kenny nicely there. The new skipper. And he darts over for the opening try for Manly. Obviously now I guess the reason why for that to make sense because they've really scored off it. So now they've got the extra two points out of try. So I guess it all worked out in the end, didn't it, for Manly? Yeah, it definitely did. And despite, argue, you can argue Broncos have been the better team so far today. Manly, as Shoe Wilke gets this, which he does. Manly are in the lead by two. It's just the place looks to kick off here. They'd be really disappointed, I think, if I was the Broncos. To be down by two, I think they've been the better side. And they're just not getting a reward for it. I have to agree. You know, that try by the Sam Herbert individual try earlier was a really good show of talent there by him. And I think the Broncos have definitely been the better team. But just a three-minute period where the Bronco mainly just dominated the Broncos forwards to see this happen. As now another good run there by Brad Goodwin. He'll play it there. Goes to Dingo. Over to Lennox Prakash. Versing his old club here. So he'll play it there. Second tackle. They give it short there. The Brad Goodwin straight up the middle now. Takes on Tim. You know he's quick, Brad Goodwin. He's one of the quicker forwards in the SRL. Eventually taken there by Sam Herbert. And they're on a roll now, Manly. Third tackle it is. Goes Matt Harris. That's the fourth. Ball K. Fifth tackle now. Goes short ball there to Matt Harris. He needs some help. Why is no one going to help him? He pushes way over. What did they do there? That player's run up to him and just not like the tackle. The Broncos, that's terrible for them. That's... But in saying that, Matt Harris, good job from him to use his strength to get over. But they need someone else to help him. I think that was Coda Dion. Someone needs to help him. 100%. That plays run up to him, but they just thought, oh, he's got it. We don't need to help. I mean, he just, he just, Matt Harris is too strong. He's the best lock in the SRL, and you can't just let, leave him like that. It's now Will K is set to kick. You think he'd convert the goal and make it 12 point, um, 14 points to 6. Well, for Broncos, it's not a good... It won't feel good for them. They've got to fight now. Because they, they'll feel that they haven't really started that bad besides that, those two players. So, they're going to have to muscle up. Well, five minutes ago, more. it was 6-0. The Broncos have scored... Um, Manly have scored 14 points in five minutes. It's just the place kicks back off now. I don't think the Broncos have been that bad. They've just managed to take the scoreboard over Manly, haven't they? Yeah, definitely. They haven't been that bad. As Hayden Melhart Meller takes it up there. It goes Harris. Long ball over there, spreading it now. Old field it is. Had space on the inside. A good take that tackle there by Joey Kelly, I believe it was. This goes Casey Kane now, and he puts on a step. Herbert's there to make the tackle. Fourth tackle. Fifth tackle now. Goes over to Harris. He's the player to kick out of all players. Goes down to Luka Moscow. Had an isolated defender there. 
But if good would have made a good tackle there. Now the Broncos finally have the ball back. It's been a while since the touch. Let's see what they can do now. Sam Herbert puts on a step. And Pete Verano in support. Chose not to use it. That's the second tackle. Sam little all it is. Big powerful run. Third tackle. Pete Verano it is. Manly are just so quick in their lines, but they're just, even when the Broncos are making a break, it's just like they're just going back. They're able to get back on side really quickly. It's insane how quickly they can do it. Their fitness is also incredible. Now Malachi Booth with a bit of space gets past one. Bo Sadler's chasing his old team, but he's not going to be able to catch him. And Malachi Booth's over for a try. The Broncos. They are in some trouble now. Malachi Booth will really try. Where the, I, I don't know what the Broncos can do at the moment. Man, they're, they're just turning it on now. They're finally turning things on. And it seems that they're going to be ahead by 14. I mean... Broncos, they started really well. But just, just like that, Manly, they just turned it on. And yeah, now Wolf sure. is going to look to convert this to make it 20 points to 6 off for just 24 minutes. And they've scored 20 points since the 14th minute. 14 minutes into it was 6-0. Just 9 minutes later, 20 points to 6. I don't I don't know what the Broncos can do here. The, that, the mainly side is just... They just, keep, they just go from strength to strength at the moment. Yeah. I think the scarier thing is, is that the Bronx, you know, the, the Manly aren't even playing the best side tonight. You know, yeah, this punch on the bench. Side. But, Chris Alexander Chapman, take it up there, that's He's the first the tackle. Out of dummy half is Dingo. Short ball there, the Hayden Mel Melert. That's the second tackle. Thinking about it though, Mel Hurts played really well tonight. I think he'd be the one to lose his spot on the bench. I th but he's played really well tonight. I'd actually make a case that he probably he could stay there. I have to agree. He has played, played very well. well. As Casey K with a bit of space manages to find an offload to his his partner in crime, Matt Harris. That's given a fourth tackle now. He'll play it there. Long pass over to Lennox Prakash. Looking to get up towards the 10-meter line. He's taken there. Fifth tackle now. It's going to be Chaz Dingle again. Another kick through in case K is a double. That's too simple. That was too easy. And it puts a ball kick pressure on Chaz Dingle. We waited to the last second Dingo. And the gap just opened up and... I mean, they've just... They've scored now 26 yeah. points in about 12 minutes. It is insane. They are not... This is just... I don't know what to say. Is it shocking defence in the Broncos, or is it just so good for Manly? I think it's a bit of both, really. Yeah, I, th I think it's a bit of both. You know, that those kicks, they should do a bit more to get them, but some plays, they just... I mean, I think, yeah, the Matt Harris, they probably should have done better, but the way they get down, the way they're mainly just rolling downfield, I mean, early on, Broncos was le le steady up to the challenge, and then, just like that, mainly just kicking into the second gear. And it's a trial match. They just decide, they just decide we want points now and they get points. I think um the Manly they're just they they're not even top gear yet. It's incredible. Like they're I don't think they're in top gear yet. Like I don't think we're saying the best of them. So if they can continue with this, they can get even better than this. I don't know how anyone's stopping them in the As it in goes the deep season. down to Lennox Prakash. Let's give it a first. This goes Craig Alexander Chapman. And let's give it a third tackle now. No hard plays it there. K takes on the line now, and that's going to be the fifth tackle. Going 
goes back. Not the best tack play there by the Manly Seagulls. And the Broncos finally get some something to go their way. You know, Manly finally just sort of put the towel on already. That wasn't a great set there by Manly after scoring points. Although we've scored 26 of them now. Oh, yeah, it wasn't a great set, but... I'm sure Manly will do something to back it up. Like, I'm sure their leadership group will say that's not on here, boys. We've got to back this up. Let's go over to Leo Raymond. He takes to the line. That's the third tackle. Bo Sadler gives it on to Samuel Lillard. Gives it short there to Jordan Ford. Fourth tackle now. Goes inside there, and Sam Homer has a double. The Broncos needed that. And it's a good try there from the Broncos. Caught Manly sleeping on the inside. And Sam Herman's in. It's just Melder. The Broncos always score their tries like that. It seems Herbin's always on the end of those little inside passes, which is fair because that little old body is so hard to stop two metres or three metres out from the line. It's so hard to hit him, especially when moving those feet quickly too. Yeah, I have to agree with you there. I mean, Sam Herbert is just... He's so... So little, I, f I think it's probably one of the more underrated fullbacks. You know, you've got your Liam Ryans, you've got your Brody Kennedys, you've got your Chaz Dingos. Obviously, he's playing in the half seat, but he is traditionally a fullback. You know, you got Eli Barnes. And then there's Sam Herbert, who I think sort of goes under the radar compared to some. Doesn't he? He definitely does, yeah. I think it's because the Broncos don't go as well as everyone else. I think it's just like he goes well, a bit on that. the edge. I just think maybe. it's maybe just something to do with the fact, that, you know... I don't know what it is, but it just seems to go under the radar, Sam Herbin. Because the Broncos made finals last year. But, yeah. yeah. Maybe, it's up there. I don't know. Maybe it's because we're not on one of those quality, quality sides. But and then again, Brody Candy gets a lot of credit. Yeah. Sam Herbin is definitely a solid player. It's going to be third tackle there. Simon Hunt now, he has speed. He takes a massive... Big charge there, that's the fourth tackle. Goes to Levi Raymond. Inside there to Sam Herbert. Gets past the few, in fact. Double step. Good tackle there by Casey K. He's hard to bear to take down Sam Herbert. It's going to be Bo Sadler to punt it over. To Malachi Booth once more. Watch out, here he's in some space, Malachi Booth. But Mark Iron manages to track back together. That could have been dangerous there. Fourth. The Broncos has Hayden Melert played there. I guess short side here. Gives it there to Ethan Goodwin. Support back on the inside. He fools the Bailey defenders. I'm um, Broncos defenders, sorry. Eventually taken down there. They cannot let them score here, the Broncos. To go short ball there to Hayden Melert. Oh, look at the gap. Melert, and just like that, they score. That was so easy. There was just a huge hole there. They were asking for him to just go straight under the post. Hayden Melert, you mentioned it early, he's had an amazing game so far. Obviously, Penrill playing him in the centres last season, but he seems to have found a spot in the forward pack for Manly. And a solid run there, wasn't it? It's quicker than, he, than I thought, actually. He's really elusive, and he's really doing well here. I think he probably can stay in this spot, but it will be very hard, because Daniel Punch is a quality player. And I think that he'll probably... If, if I had to say Daniel Punch maybe could come off the bench and maybe he could... Well, I think one of them is going to come off the bench and pl replace him at mm -hmm. half-time. They'll both get 60 minutes. I think that's a fair They're assessment too good. there. <laughs> Head of Melhart, though. Melhart, sorry. What a... What a game he's had in this trial match. Definitely making his case for a starting spot at Manly. As they are up by 20 now. Still six minutes to half time. In high scoring as hell. Yeah. This goes over to Cree Alexander Chapman. That's the first tackle. Daniel Punch it is now. That's the second. Let him go. The next precaution is. 
Brooks for the third tackle now. Well, how did, how did Broncos find something here? It's a good run there by Daniel Punch. We're just talking about him. Fourth tackle now. I think the way the Broncos find a way back, it's Sam Herbin, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, I have to agree with that. You know, again, they were, so, they were really good in the first opening 15 minutes or so. It was just after that, mainly just... I don't know what it was. Bailey just decided they want points and they get points. It's now Luca Mo Joey Kelly it is, sorry. He only gets past Chapman Kenny, but we wrap down there. That's going to be the first. That's now Sam Herbert. A big tackle there, though. Good, good tackle. Who was that? Was that Flanks for Cash? I think it might have been. It's another short ball there to Jordan Ford. Gets tackled there just past the 40. That's the third tackle. Gives it over there to Pete Fred, a big red head. He gets past Captain Chapman Kenny. Will K comes and makes a massive tackle of a much bigger body. Good tackle there by Will K. Fourth tackle now. They score here, but Broncos will be impressed. This goes over there. Simon Hart, that's him to fifth. Goes over. Levi Raymond puts it high. Looking for another try taken there well by Malachi Booth. And yeah, a good set in the end by the... Good take in the air by the Manly Seagulls, wasn't it? Yeah. Brilliant take. Manly continue their dominance. I don't know. This would that we're well and truly in an error now of Manly. The question is, how does it end? Like they're just showing once more in this trial match that they're never gonna rock up to the game for it's easy. They're just gonna keep going. As Matt Harris takes a big run there, that's the third tackle. You have to think, who's beating this manly side? You just have to think, who is beating this manly side? Because it's looking ridiculous at the moment. Let's go short there to Lennox Brakash, looking for a try. He wasn't meant to get it, but ran on to it. Fifth tackle now, what a run by Lennox Brakash. Chase Dinkle once more, bombs it away. Tapped back there for Kane Chapman Kennedy and he has a hat trick. Oh. And Manly have scored 36. Gets this kick, it'll be 38 first half points. We'll have 50 first half points if he gets this. What the hell? This is insane. What's the record for um most points now? It's game. 70 something. This game has 50 in the first half. Obviously, trial games don't count towards the records because they're just trial matches. But, this has been an insane game so far. Yeah, for sure. As we go to half time, Manly leading the Broncos 38 points to 12 at Manchester Stadium. <laughs> Manchester Stadium, 50 points in the first half. Joining me in the commentary box still, Liam Ryan. What you just try to sum up the first half of this trial match? 
been really weird, hasn't it? Been a different, to say the least, kind of affair. Um, 50 points. It's, it's shocking. Yeah, I don't remember our time mm. where a team has scored 38 first half points. Let alone 50 first half points between both teams. As they're spreading it once more, Chaz Dinglewood just takes an offload there, gets up towards the 40. Let him go, let him go. Okay, we're going to short side here. If a good one. Over to Maverick Goldfield. Ooh. Both teams have made some changes. And the third tackle, they're already in the side Manly's half. Long pass over to Brad Goodwin. Gets it offload now. Then your punch it is. That's the fourth. We'll play it there. Goes to KCK. Scored up, I believe, a first half hat trick Kane Chapman All three off kicks. All three of Chaz Dingo kicks, in fact, as it's going to be located punch yeah. across the field. Fielded there by Joey Kelly. That's the first tackle now. Two second half tries barely needed, and they'll hit 50. I don't think we've ever had a team hit 50 in the SRO, have we? No. I think the highest we've had is 48 nil, or we might have had we might have had 54 nil. But, either way, this is interesting. Oh no, a team has hit 50. Warriors hit 50 against it was the Cowboys. It was 54 nil, was it? I think it was 54 6, actually. I thought it was 48 nil, but any, anyway, it might have been 48 was the difference. Both sides the plays it there. Goes inside there to Justin Plays. The skipper gets it off there to Levi Raymond. Looked a bit suspect that pass, flat at best. I thought it was forward. But it goes down to Joey Kelly, who punts it cross field. Fielded once more by Mike Goldfield. Who's had an excellent game in that wing so far. And they give away a penalty. The Broncos, you can't do that. Against the squally side like Manly. And they're probably going to start their set inside the Brisbane's half, aren't they? Oh, no, 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 actually, never mind. I thought it was that was a very poor kick from Dingo. He could have went for distance more. I mean, better safe than sorry, I guess. There's first tackle now. Goes over to Casey K. Great tackle, never mind. Gets it off though, in fact, to Will K. Oh, I shouldn't have thrown that off though. It went 10 minutes back. backwards, Emma. <laughs> Alexander Chapman over to Dingo now. That's the third tackle. We're going to go short side. Remember, short side play lining up. They go Brad Goodwin. Straight through a gap there. Goes for a pass, picked up, charged down by Manly. I'm Bronco, sorry. Jesse Bennett picks it up. Zero tackle now. Short ball there to Ben Punch. And this is just getting ridiculous now. Daniel Punch. Wow. They're going to hit 50, I reckon. This is. This will be 50, I reckon. It won't take long for them to hit 50. This Broncos defense just looks shocking. It's as simple as that. Now, Will K looks to convert to make it 44 points to 12. And there's still 35 minutes remaining. At this rate, we could generally see Manly hit 70. Yeah, they probably could. And obviously, again, it's the trial match, so these games do not count towards records. I've mentioned that about 10 times now. <laughs> but. It's worrying sign for the Broncos. I generally think I think Manly didn't name the best lineup, but I think Broncos named close to their best lineup with a couple changes at halftime that weren't their best lineup, which is scary for the Broncos. Yeah. So it goes down to Kane Chapman Kenny, gives it to Brad Goodwin. He's held there. One, release. First up, on um, first tackle now, Dingo takes on the line. He's had a terrific game, Chaz Dingo. Two. How many try assists has he got? It he's would be at he's least not, three. He's got all through Chapman Kenny's try assist at the very least. I'd be interested at the end of the game how many he has. I reckon he could have like a whopping like five or something. It's Chapman Kenny plays it there, fourth tackle. Okay, goes for 40 20. I don't know if he was on the 40 or not. I don't think it will be. But Ding Condal Dingle gets there. And he's wrapped up there by Malachi Booth. Goes short there to Jack Spillane. Second tackle. Hell, three hands away. 
third tackle now. Goes long pass over to Joey Kelly. Fourth tackle now. Goes Levi Raymond. Short there to Pete Ferretto. That's going to be fifth tackle. Taken there by Balakai Booth. Well, I'm not, Maverick Oldfield, sorry. Well, Broncos, they're behind by quite a lot. What do you want to see from the Broncos in, in the, for the rest of this game? Just to sort of show us something. They can't compete in, in the SRL this season. They've just, they've just got to race it. They've just got to... It's they got to think like this. It's a trial match. They just got to win. They just want to win the rest of the half. That's all they can do. Yeah, obviously this is just a trial match. But it's, it's concerning signs for the Broncos for the rest of the season. As they give away another penalty there. The ref's just been seen talking just in plays. I think that's a warning there. Not good sign for the Broncos there, is it? A warning for penalties. Yep. If they go to te 12 men in a bit, if they go to 12 men, this could be genuinely get ugly. Like, Manly would take full advantage of it. As Dingo gives it over to Lennox Prakash. Offload there. Matthew Vaughan it is. Pushing forward there. 20 metres out now. Dingo, short ball there to Jesse Bennett. Third tackle. Casey Cady has a fourth try. Too that easy. Too and this is this is a bloodbath now. This Broncos defense looks terrible. This they need something to fix this. That was just too easy. Casey K is he's very elusive, Casey K. He's just so strong. I'll be very surprised now if they move him from that fullback role and keep Chad Dingle in the five. Considering how well they're both playing today. Whether or not Their combo, it looks tensions. really good. I'm not going to lie, their combo looks really, really good. It's probably felt... And considering Chad Dingle only scored two tries last season in the regular season, obviously he got more throughout the final series, but, you know, 5 might be good for Chad Dingle too, despite people thinking that fullback is his best position, which it, so far it is, but he could make his new, his new name as a 5-8, which would be very good, very interesting for Manly. And they've hit 50 now. He's a very creative player. I think he's better as a 5'8". I think he suits the 5'8 role better because he's more creative. He's not really a try scorer, whereas KCK would be. He's more creative, and he's. Uh, I think he's suited for that reason. He can do some very creative things in the 5'8 role. Yeah, I have to agree. He still gets no, to run the football, too. I don't think he's a very creative player, you know. You've got, and I think KCK just has the speed to just sort of school anyone. Yeah, Dingo's not as fast as him. Dingo's a fair bit slow. Yeah. So goes inside Dingo's not a slat by any means, though. Just KCK is really damn fast. Yeah, I have to agree with you there. I think KCK probably one of the fast. I'm mean, interested to see. I think he'd probably be up there with the fastest players in the SRL. There's a massive shot put on Daniel Punch there. That's a good shot by Pete Verano trying to spice his team up as Jazz Dingo punts it downfield. As now, a good step there by Joey Kelly. Taking on KCK. Here's a battle for the speedsters. KCK versus Joey Kelly. Who's going to win the battle? KCK can't get to him. But you know who can. He got an ankle tap that got him. Malachi Booth got there. In the end. If he didn't get an ankle to him, I think Kelly, Joey would have scored there. Yeah, he managed to get a touch on the trip him up a bit. And they gave room for, um, I think it was Maverick, not Maverick, yeah, Maverick Goldfield to go up and make the tackle. Fourth tackle now. Just see what they can do here. A massive shot put on there, and that's good play there by Manly. Pete Verreto it was, laying on the ground. That's payback for the shot he put on. Fan punch earlier. And this is just getting, oh, this is just getting worse for the Broncos. Juggle there by Brad, Go um, Brad Goodall, but there's just so much space. Half the Broncos team were offside there in the middle. They're so tired out there, out on their feet, the Broncos. Go I'd be going points. inside after inside boarded KCK out here. They are just so tired around the middle. I mean, Brad Goodwin juggled in there. And then they still had three or four players offside in the middle. We just ran straight through there. As Ethan Goodwin punts it. 
Great cube. Down to Joey Kelly. And he gets taken there. That's the first. Great kick and chase by Ethan Goodman, a rookie. He kicked yeah. his he chased his own kick and made the tackle. And Joey's not any Joey's not easy to tackle by himself. I have to agree here. He's one of the probably better wingers in the comp. I mean, the Broncos, they're just, I mean, mainly, they just all do all the little things right. Even when they're up by 4, 38 like they are now, they're still doing all the little things like, like kick chasing, putting pressure on kickers, and all, the, all of it, as Cota Diab now will have it around. Tackled there on the 30. Goes back. It's going to be Leo Raymond to kick it. Kicks it down to... Old field. He's gonna let it bounce before he takes it. Then, oh sorry, Malachi Booth it was. That's gonna be the first. 22 minutes remaining in this game. As Will K down the right, he's quick. Will K. Condal Dingle comes across the to make the tackle. That's the second tackle now. Goes short there to Jesse Bennett. Third tackle. Short ball man to Ben. Good Dingo. What a pass that was. He drew in two and played it and put it hit Ben Punch on a hole. Amazing ball from Chase Dingo. Let's see Jesse Ben to play it there. Fifth tackle. Goes back. Puts it high. No one wants it. They're gonna let it bounce. Taken there by Quandle Diggle. Inexperienced there from the rookie. And mainly get another set here. Broncos are going to have to ruin myself. They want to make sure Manny don't score here, aren't they? Yeah, that was really poor from Dingle. All he had to do was catch it. And he'd get a seven tackle set for his side. But he caught it on the bounce. And instead of catching it on the full. And that made the Broncos have to give Manly the ball back. As Daniel Punch with a good run. Gets it off though. In fact, to Josh Blackburn. Looking for a try. Looking for a try. Oh, good and angle tap. Good pressure there, but they have a penalty oh, now. They, and they're they talking to him. Go. And they have a sin, but who was that? Is that Simon Hunt? It was Simon Hunt. And Simon Hunt's in the sin bin. Professional here by Manly, and they're going for the two. Would have liked to see him go for a try, but now they're down by... Well, now they're down... Man, well, this could, well, this could be dangerous, because they could get they could get 70 now, because they will make it 52 to 12. Yeah, three tries is all they need. And I could I could see them getting that in the next ten minutes when they have when they're down a player Broncos. The Broncos look tired. The Broncos look like there's so much space even with Dirty on the field. Imagine with twelve, especially on that edge. What edge is that? Is that the left or right for the Broncos? I think it's their right edge. Yeah. So it'll be the manly left edge, which consists of Dingo. You've got Dingo's on there. Blackburn. You can go to KCK, it will be... Yeah, that's... That's going to be good. That's not good as it goes down there to Chaz Dingo. Gives it there. Would that be KCK's fifth try if he, got, if he gets one? Is, we haven't seen five tries. Fifth? Again, records don't matter in this game because it's just a trial game, but bloody hell. This is... This is something we have not seen before. In trial games or about. 52 points to 12. I would like to see Bailey go for a try, but it's very professional of them to just say, well, let's go for the two, we'll reset. It shows they're treating this, they are treating this as a trial game in a sense, they just want to see what they can do. I guess it's sort of testing their creativity now, only having to verse 12 players, what they can do here. So it goes Chaz Dingo now. Kicks it long. Doesn't have the distance for a 40 20. Taken well there by Dingo. And he's wrapped up quite easily there. Manly, they're being smart here. They're not just like, they're just not just trying to do things. Um, they're not trying to do things out of their reach. They're just going to kick the corners, making the Broncos broke it out of their own end and try and do work them out by that way. Get the ball in good field position there. Yeah, I mean it's quite professional, Manly here, just to sort of treat this as you know just kick stick to the game plan. They're not going outside the game plan just before because things change. They want to stick to the game plan. And while it's working at the moment, there's fifth tackle now. Goes down to Mark Iron. He kicks it across field. Fielded there by Maverick Oldfield. That's going to be the first. Good tackle there by Justin Plays, I think it was. 
As Jesse Bennett now, that was isolated there. Levi Raymond isolated without Simon Hunt there to back up. Jason Farrow has to come and field. Now that should be a pretty big hole. I can oh, see yeah, a pretty big is. hole in the middle. Maverick Oldfield there is. No wing of there to make a tackle. Ends up being Condal Dingle and Joey Kelly to come around to make the tackle. Third tackle now. There's a big hole right there too. As there Holes it everywhere. Is. Matthew Vaughan. The holes are just in there to fence the... As Casey K gets it out to Will K. He did well there. Support on the outside. He throws that pass. I think there's a try on... Off of it from Manny, but the fifth tackle now. It's going to be Brad Goomer out of all places to put it high. Tapped back to Casey K. Here's a fifth try today! 56. Jesus Christ. What freaks. Was that Dingo kick? It was actually one to four. It's Fickle Bottom one to Punch Brothers. And Casey K. He is just something. They're mainly just something else at the moment. Will is going to kick this goal and make it 58 points to 12. And there's still 13 minutes remaining. How long have Manly got with this 12, with 12 man? They've got it to the 71st minute. So, four minutes remaining. They could, they, they could genuinely score hit enough. 70 here. If I can score another one in this sem without these 12 men, I think I'll back them to score 70. I don't... I think it, that would be enough. But I can't say I'm scoring two with Broncos and then 13 men. Yeah, but then that's... again, Broncos look really short, even with 13 on the field. I mean, they did clear to Holland for as long as they did, but Manny got one opportunity, and it was KCK yet again to score five tries. This goes Blackbird. First tackle now. Broncos are sitting there thinking, luckily, this is only a troll game. If this was if this wasn't a trial game, they would be in huge strife. As Brad Goodman finds heaps of space there, Condal Dingle eventually takes him there. That's the third tackle. I don't know what it is, but last season the Broncos got smashed by Manly too. No one else really got smashed by Manly till Souths in the grand final. But it seems that Manly just loves sm smashing the Broncos. It's a bit weird. That's fifth tackle now, 11 minutes to go in this game. Dingo punted across field. Taken well Big there game. by Luka Moscow. Looking for space here. And taken out for first. Goes short there to Jack Splane. A good run there. Broncos playing with a bit of strike power now. 10 minutes remaining. They've got one minute. they got one minute till they get the name back. As they get it off though there to Pete Ferrero. Fourth tackle, Levi Raymond, it's gonna be fifth, and that's gonna be the fifth. A few more seconds to they'll throw down back. And there we go, Simon Hunt completes a sin bidding. No one wants a bar of that one, and Broncos are going to get a repeat set here. Well, it's probably one of the best sets of the game there, Broncos. Where it hasn't ended in a try. Yeah. Broncos are actually just trying to make sure they don't hit 60, as Simon Hunt takes him massive right up there. That's the first. As Jason Farrow looks for some space, he gets taken there though. Second tackle. Long pass over. Gets it over to Joey Kelly looking for some space. That's third tackle. There some, was some space on that on that side. There's close touch line here for a second. It goes Tolo Western now. That's fourth tackle. Mark Iden is on his back. Fifth tackle. Seven minutes to go. Slow play the ball. Goes back. Rubbers it in. Taken back there by Sam Herbert. I'm thinking six more tackles. They're going to say no and it's a handover. I thought they might have been able to get a six more tackle there. 
but the ref said it wasn't played at. What's your thoughts of that call, Liam? I don't think he played it. I think it was more that um, he was trying to find the ball, but couldn't, it came off his back. Fair enough there. I thought personally he touched his hair, but the ref seems to have a different view of it. Third tackle now. Dingo. Okay. KCK again. He's wrapped up there. Fourth tackle. I think Dingo's going to go for a 40 point. Or it's going to be K, in fact. Or Doesn't just really have deep. the angle for it. Has the distance, just not the angles. Fumbled eagle taken there. That's the first tackle. Dingle looks a bit inexperienced in this fullback role, doesn't he? Yeah, I'm not sure if I think he's a necessary fullback. I, I, he wasn't bad in the centers, but at fullback, he's just struggled a little bit. Positioning, I just think he's not ready there for the SRO, as the SRO level. Yeah, I think that's a fair assessment of him. He hasn't even done much of the tackle, to be fair. as a good tackle made on Jack Spillane. Goes over there. Take fielded there by Malachi Booth. That's gonna be the first. He looked around for this game here. Twenty to nil in the second half. Thirty-eight to twelve in the first half, as it stands. KCK five tries. He'd have to. I wonder how much run meters he'd have at the moment. Probably as, like close to six hundred. As Jack Black, um, Josh Blackburn, sorry, breaks past a couple of tackles. Third tackle now. I go inside there to Brad Goodwin. Fourth tackle now. Goes there to Jesse Benham. That's going to be the fifth tackle. Should be Manley's final possession of the ball. Yeah, unless there's an error here from the Broncos as it goes down to Luka Moscow. I think what's more impressive with the Broncos they managed, even though they've only scored 20 points in the second half, which is still nothing to scoff at. They've managed to get the Broncos to nil. And I think they'll be very impressed with that. You know, the mainly coaching, um, mainly captaincy crew. Some hunt yeah, definitely. There. Jack Splane pushes forward. Mark Iron over the Pondle Dingle down. Fourth tackle. That's a real, that's a real first thing Ponda Dingle's done with the ball in his hands at fullback. You have to agree, it doesn't look like he's done much anything special. Goes Mark Iron, and that's not a great kick there. Fielded there by Malachi Booth. He'll be wrapped up there. Only a couple of plays remaining in this game. Go to dummy half there. Gives it short there to Ben Punch. This could afford to play the game. In fact, will they get to their feet? They will. Oh, no. This is the final play of the game. Jesse Bennett takes the final tackle. Gets the ground. And it was only a troll game, but they put it on the show at Manchester Stadium. Manly scoring 58 points. Winning 58 points to 12 in the end. And, well, Manly, they're definitely up to make a free beat here. Liam, what was your thoughts on the games? Oh, I just don't know who's beating this Manly side. Jesus Christ. They are, they look so good. As you look at some of the stats here, 41 line breaks by Manly to 25 for the Broncos. 62% on the ball, and 27 out of 28 completions. They only had one error the entire game. Broncos' completions wasn't bad, though. 17 out of 18. They didn't... They only really made one error according to the completions. Yeah, it's interesting. I think it was just the way Manly controlled the ball. They had 10 more yeah. sets than them. That's all I did. Crazy. Try scorers with five tries to Kane Chapman Candy, one to Matt Harris, one to Hayden Melert, one to Malachi Booth, and one to Daniel Punch. While for the Broncos, it was a double to Sam Herbin that got both their tries. Will K had 11 goals, totaling 22 points, and that was just from conversions to the line. If you look at the stats here, 247 run meters by Brad Goodwin, and 182 by Kane Chapman Kenny. Nine tries. Three tries as much as Dingo. Only three for Dingo, wow. Yeah, no, I think of the first three tries by Kane Chapman Kenny and for the Broncos, you look at some of their stats. 
212 run meters by Joey Kelly. He had a decent game. Sam Herbert had 139 run meters. Kim Whitey played the second half at center, where he was very much quieter. Yeah. Mark Iron kicked the ball for 226 kick meters. He had an alright game in the halves, so his running game was pretty poor. Chaz Dingo, 214 kick meters, though. I mean, he was just exceptional, Chaz Dingo. And so was Casey K. Brad Goodwin was also amazing. Um, yeah, that's all from us, and I guess we'll see you guys later.